Hello everybody and welcome to our channel. My name is Sam. My name is Ryan. Today we're doing a video that was suggested in our daddy discord. Fun plug for the discord. If you were not aware, we have a discord for a loving community. So check that out in the link in the description. And someone suggested that we go through Ryan's Spotify account and see what playlists his music is on. I mean, it's not my music, but it's music that I appear on. I think yes. every single one of these are playlists that either Spotify or users have put songs from Heather's onto, but regardless, it is um, quite a motley gathering as you're about to find out, Daddy. I love seeing this trend almost of artists sharing what playlists their music is on. I am so inspired by the creativity that people put into Spotify playlist names. Absolutely. I love it. Shall we begin? Let's. First one is actually a Spotify curated playlist called POV with a cover of Pedro Pascal on it. I have so many questions <laughs> about this. Anytime I see POV, I think like fan fiction and like fan fiction culture. So I don't know. I have a lot of questions, but I also feel like this playlist was specifically curated for me. I feel like I need to check it out. Meant to be yours is on it. Let's say POV is about fan fiction culture. Is uh -huh. that suggesting that like meant to be yours is like a great fantasy that people are... No, no. I understand that people like JD as a bad boy, but it's not like 17 is on this or freeze your brain is on this. Meant to be yours is on this. Like climb yeah. through my window and snatch my people up status. So that's the like... Like, POV, you're Veronica in the closet right now. Like, I'm gagged about that. But I would maybe understand this if it was, like, just some random user. You know, Heather's Fan 69 over here made a POV playlist and put Pedro on the thing. But, like, for Spotify to do this with this cover and this song, I don't know. They're wilding out. They must got some gen z teeny boppers yeah. working over at spotify curating <laughs> yeah, playlists they bro they get it the masochism tango no no samantha the masochism, masochism tango. tango it's got Ooh, those sparkles yes. don't sleep on those sparkles yeah, we love to romanticize masochism <laughs> i mean this i'm not surprised to see meant to be yours on here we all know that people uh really Simp over romanticize psychos? and simp over psychos so i'm anticipating that meant to be yours is gonna be a big part of these playlists <laughs> yandir but make it sexy I, yeah what is yonder it yonder 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 do we have to google this chiefly japanese fiction a character usually a girl who has an obsessive and possessive side in regards to their crush ready to use violent and murderous means to maintain an exclusive bond oh oh jd's JD. a yonder <laughs> It's nice to see some diversification. It's not just meant to be yours on this playlist. Dead Girl Walking Reprise is on there, which I'm pretty sure is just like... I wanted someone strong who could protect me. Uh, yeah. So meant to be yours in the confrontation in the gym. Mm -hmm. Totally. Very loud songs for when you're in that mood. I just love Kermit's face here. This is what did it for me. But what a missed opportunity. Dead Girl Walking is the song that I sound like Kermit the Frog in. Okay, Why okay. is it Dead Girl Walking on here? <laughs> okay, okay. I literally, for those oh, of you who have go. watched me on Twitch, I literally have a sound alert called Kermit JD, and it's literally just, okay, okay. You really do sound like Kermit there. TikTok trolled me pretty hard for that. Yeah. But, I mean, if you're gonna take the Kermit thing and run with it, Dead Girl Walking has gotta be on there. <laughs> A playlist named after the Chiron running on the inside of my head. ADHD stim, fast, fast, fast. <laughs> and again, there's meant, to be, meant yours. to be yours. This photo, I have so many questions. Honestly, I feel like I'm really on top of my playlist game on Spotify, but I'm not using the photo mm. feature enough. I really think I need to revisit some of mine. POV, you realize you were the villain the whole time. It's me, yeah. hi, I'm the problem, it's me. Mm -hmm. I feel like JD kind of knew yeah. He was the, you know, he knew what he was doing. Also, again, just time. meant to be yours. Every single one of JD's songs is POV. You realize you're the villain the whole time. Yeah. Our Love is God isn't on here. Hello. That's POV. You realize he was the villain the whole time. Honey. <laughs> Joe Goldberg vibes. T. Absolutely. Very much you. Meant to be yours. Gives really you. Really gives you mm -hmm. energy. And it scares me. And again, another serial killer that people just lust after my favorite thing is that pen badgley in interviews is just always like guys stop you're not supposed to like me i have been ringing this bell mm -hmm. for almost a decade yep i was like oh my god like ryan mccartan is jd is so sexy like jd is so sexy like where do i find a man like jd jail 
Jail is where you find a man like JD. Are you joking? The simping of the psycho. Not a moment. Not it. These girlies and boilies and theylies, they all need to calm down. <laughs> this is another Spotify official playlist called Raised by the Internet, and this makes sense to me. But does it? Yeah, meant to be yours, I think specifically for Gen Z, obviously it had a cultural renaissance on TikTok, but I remember everyone that I talk to that is a fan of Heathers talks about like the internet culture of Heathers. Yeah. That that's like how they found out about it, etc. But then and why meant to be yours? This is what I'm saying. Meant to be yours is on every single one of these playlists. Like, oh, I was raised by the internet and like Heathers is big on the internet. Then where's like, I don't know, yeah, like Dead Girl Walking or Seventeen or Beautiful or anything like that. Like raised by the internet and what? The internet taught you to write a manifesto and go to your school? Like No, like raised by the internet in the sense of this is something that was so popular at the time that, you know, someone was introduced to the internet. But also, this is where the fantasize fanti fantasization there you go. You got there. Fantasization. of JD comes is like at least the chorus you can kind of try to take out of context. Like you're just hearing this guy scream, I was meant to be yours, we were meant to be one. People like that. You can't People really... like that? If I heard someone screaming that outside my house, I would call I the police. <laughs> Happy love songs. Thank God Meant to Be Yours isn't on this one. <laughs> but still. Yeah, I mean, Dead Girl Walking is not something I would call like a happy love song. It's more of a desperate last ditch effort. And 17 is like, please do not kill my friends. <laughs> I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> happy. Yeah, it's more of like a desperate plea. Both of these are desperate plea songs. <laughs> yeah. Like, please have sex with me before I go to school and no one talks to me. And please don't blow up my school. XOXO, yeah. Barrett Wilburweed. Heathers, f you're welcome. Blue will always be superior. You Better tell them. I love that every <laughs> original cast recording song of Heather's is on there. And listen, I mean, absolutely no shade to the West End. They're doing amazing work over there. They're keeping the Heather's legacy alive far longer than we ever could have. We walked so that they could run, and I'm so happy that they're running. But Blue... I love Blue. ...is the moment. I love that song. I will never not love that song. I will no. always prefer that song to be in the show. Blue, baby, forever may she reign. And last but certainly not least, songs for the theater kids who have gifted kid burnout syndrome. And Beth, honestly, I feel seen. Yeah, that's, that's too real. I am damaged. You are damaged. Beth, clearly you are damaged. We just work ourselves into the ground, mm -hmm. grinding it out until we are indeed... Dead Girls Walking. Yeah, I've actually never heard of Gifted Kid Burnout Syndrome, but that's going to oh. become my whole personality. Oh, you haven't? Yeah, it's, it's the experience of being told you're really talented at a really oh, yeah. young age. No, I understand what it is. It oh. happened to me every moment of my childhood. But oh, instead gosh. of having the words for it, Gifted Kid Burnout Syndrome, we called it Shut the F*** Up and Keep Being Amazing, Ryan. But then did you have the experience of becoming an adult and no longer being treated as if you were gifted yes oh and then yeah. guess what they said to me shut the f up ryan and keep being amazing that's right mm. well this is a video that we've been requested to do for quite some time so hopefully you enjoyed it uh keep adding heather's and ryan's <laughs> original music to all of your spotify playlists so that we can potentially make more of these videos thank you so much for watching as, As always, always be, be sure, sure to, to like, like and subscribe. subscribe and we will see you all next time bye, bye. daddy